They're such a good looking bunch. I didn't even recognize half of them today. So I'm used to the blue scrubs. Anyway, I'd like to invite McKenna up to do the welcome. Welcome family, friends, and faculty to the Practical Nursing Graduation Ceremony of 2023. On behalf of the Dakota Nursing Program graduates here today, we would like to thank you for joining us in celebrating this accomplishment. As of today, we officially begin our journey as nurses. This day has been long awaited by my fellow graduates and I. On behalf of the 2023 Practical Nurses, we would like to offer our gratitude to you all for joining us here today on this special occasion. We would like to thank President Doug Darling and Vice President Halverson for being in attendance. And Wendy Anderson from Mobility is going to do the prayer. Lord, give us the intelligence and knowledge to assess. Guide me with reason, rationality, and understanding so I may plan. Grant me energy, agility, and tenderness during implementation, and the wisdom, perception, and fairness to evaluate. Give me patience to listen, intuition to see beyond the visible, and the attitude to deliver care with humility. Help me see every patient clearly, unbiased, and with individual respect. Help me to face fear and anxiety with kind words and a gentle touch. Help me to see the joy and wonder each new day brings, and let your healing light shine through my hands. Most of all, Lord, let me begin each day with your blessing to provide care for those who need me. Amen. Um, Susan Christensen from Mayville will be giving a speech. Let me begin by saying, although it has been a long 11 months, it has been well worth it. I have been named the mom of our group in Mayville, and I think to myself it's because I've been naturally a nurturing person, but I actually think it's pretty sure because I'm an older than average student and all of my classmates are the same age as my own children. <laughs> we started out last, last August being fresh and innocent. That quickly turned into, this is very intense. There were a few times when I thought to myself that I can't do this, but slowly but surely we came to the realization that we were well capable of completing this program. During the fall, we focused on the necessities of nursing with nursing fundamentals and health assessment. We also worked on the mental health unit. We especially enjoyed the flu shot clinical. I know it made me feel more like a nurse during that time because it was something we definitely hadn't done before. This spring, we focused on med surge, which I think we all, all of us, in Mayville anyways, thought was interesting. We also had the dreaded maternal child class. I personally did not think it was too bad, but don't ask the two guys in my class. <laughs> the last eight weeks, we continued with mes med surge, but only at a faster pace. I'm not gonna lie, the summer and semester is very intense. Especially since through this entire 11 months, I have still managed to work full-time as a CNA. I keep reminding myself, though, that I can do this because I graduated high school without Google. <laughs> my family has been incredibly supportive as I have worked very every weekend. My kids are self-sufficient and my husband has been picking up my slack. For this, I am very thankful. The friends I have made along the way have been phenomenal from talking over answers when called upon in class to a late night study session in the hotel room when we went to Jamestown for our mental health clinical at the state hospital. We tend to help each other out, both academically and emotionally. We work great together. To me, this is what nursing is all about, working together for the good of the patient. Next is gonna be the history of the nursing pin by Hope 
Thorkelson from Devil's Lake. The history of the nursing pin. The nursing pin has a long history and tradition within the nursing profession. It symbolizes achievement and recognition and often signifies the completion of a nursing program and entering the nursing profession. The origin of the nursing pin dates back to 1860, when Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing, presented a medal of excellence to her nursing graduates in recognition of their hard work and dedication. This tradition was carried on by nursing schools worldwide who began awarding their own unique pins and badges to their graduates. The design of the nursing pin varies by school and program, but typically includes an emblem or seal of the school, as well as the symbol or imagery representing the nursing profession. For example, some pins include a lamp to symbolize the lamp carried by Florence Nightingale as she made her rounds caring for wounded soldiers during the Crimean War. Others feature a Caduceus, a serpent entwined staff traditionally associated with a Greek god Hermes who was regarded as a patron of commerce and messengers. Over time, the nursing pin has become a symbol of pride and identity for nurses and is often worn with great reverence. It is also a way for nurses to connect with their colleagues and share their common experiences and achievements. Today, the tradition of the nursing pin continues in many nursing schools worldwide and serve as a reminder of the rich history and traditions of the nursing profession. Now I'd like to welcome Karen back up to pin the graduates. Okay, thank you Hope. So we are going to um, start the, the pinning of the graduates and I know many of the graduates are having their family pin them and we just think that's awesome. Um, you've been on this journey with them the whole time. So uh, as a student comes up to be pinned, we ask that the family member come up on your left or the right side of the stage. Come up on that side. You will see that there are two blue squares. And if you were here a little earlier, you saw us practice taking a picture there. So we're going to have the, um, the students stand closest to the side and the family member stand on my left or right of that, and I will guide you. And as you're pinning them, Brittany will take pictures so that you can have those after. Family's also welcome to come up and take pictures. Um, so with that, also if you look in your uh, program, you will see that all of the students' names or the graduates' names are listed here. They will be coming up in order that they are listed here. So we're gonna start with Lake Region State Lake Region and State College, Devil's Lake. So the first one to be pinned will be Rose. So her family, please come to the side of the stage. And then if you look two down, as soon as you see that your um, graduate is when the next two, please come up to the side of the stage and it'll just make us uh, be able to progress really nicely. Okay? So I'm still a teacher. Does that, everybody understand that? Yeah? Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, so I would like to invite up the instructors that will be reading the cards for the graduates. So, Melissa. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Okay. Rose Bonato is getting pinned by Amy DeMonte. Amy is her cousin and she has always been her biggest supporter and encourages her to pursue her degree. Thank you for always being there for me and my family. Next, we have Katie Nearson. Katie is getting pinned by her husband, Jordan. Without his support and encouragement, I will not have made it without you through this all. Thank you so much. You are my rock.
Whitney Scholler is our next PN to get graduated, or get pinned. She's having her dad pin her. Her dad is Dennis. Whitney states, I have chosen to have him pin me because he's always been my number one supporter my whole life. Since that day I was born, we have been attached at the hip. We basically did everything together, and after going to nursing school, he has always been the first person I call, whether it's to tell him about my success or even just um, when I need someone to talk to after a long day. Next we have Lily Stokey. Lily is being pinned by her parents, Amber and Jens. I want to thank you for supporting me and helping me through the program. They have always pushed me to do my best and help me grow. Thank you both for always um, helping with everything. I could have not done it without you and will continue to do for me. Next, we have Madison Svenberg. Madison is getting pinned by her cousin, Brianna. You have been my role model throughout school, as she went through the same program I did a year ago, while being a single mom and working full time. Brianna has continuously pushed me throughout school, and I would have not made it without her. Next, we have Hope Thorlickson. She's getting pinned by her sisters, Hannah and Haley. They happen to be triplets. <laughs> because of this unwavering support and encouragement, these um, presence and steadfastness during the challenging time have played a critical role in my success, and I'm deeply grateful to have you both by my side. Next, we have McKenna Tallrood. McKenna will be pinned by her mother, Michelle. I'm so grateful for your support this last year and cannot thank you enough for helping me reach my goal. Thank you so much, Mom. Next, we'll have um, Tracy Bina come up to read the Mayville cards. All right. Austin Anderson. Austin is being pinned by his dad. Austin says, I wouldn't be here without all of your support and all of your help. Next, we have Susan Christensen. <laughs> Susan is being pinned by her husband, Eric. Susan says, you've given me so much support throughout this journey, 
and you have believed in me from the beginning. Thank you, and I love you. Addison Dolmeyer. Addison is being pinned by her mother, Mandy Dolmeyer, and also on behalf of her late father, Ryan Dolmeyer. Addison says, I cannot thank them both enough for the endless amount of encouragement and support. Thank you for standing by me through it all. I love you both so much. Next, we have Jenna Mockhart. Jenna has chosen her two daughters to pin her today. Jenna would like to thank her dad, kiddos, and Zach for being so supportive. Next we, oh, next, we have Jacob Sherba. Jacob chose his grandma to pin him today because she has dedicated her life to patient care. She has always encouraged him to continue on with nursing school, and so has his mom, his dad, brother, and grandpa and the rest of the family. They have been his biggest supporters for the last 11 months. All right, next we will uh, work through the mobility group. This is a group that took courses online this semester. So we will start with Danielle Buseth. Danielle is being pinned by her mom and dad. She would like to thank them for always believing in her and never giving up on her. She would also like to thank her family, friends, and therapists for supporting her. She couldn't have done it without them. Next, we have Kelsey Hansen. Kelsey is being pinned today by her grandmother. Kelsey wants to thank her for being a part of the foundation that raised her and now the example that she strives for. It is a great privilege in life to be seen and loved by your grandparents. Mine all have the gift of pouring themselves out and asking for nothing in return. My grandma has embodied this in a special way throughout her life and career as a nurse, continuing that role even off the clock when she cared for Kelsey as a baby when she was sick with RSV. And now that care continues on into her retirement as she cares for her loved ones. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we have Samara Jones. Samara is being pinned today by her children. She would like to thank her kids for being a part of this special day and is pleased to show them what hard work and dedication can do for you. Also, thank you for putting up with all of her craziness throughout the years. Next, we have Charles McCormick. Charles is being pinned today by his girlfriend, Mary. He would like to thank Mary's family and his family for their endless support and, and encouragement throughout the school year. He would also like to thank the LRSC staff and classmates and wishes all of you the very best. <laughs> Next, we have Anne Mock. Anne will be pinned today by her mom, Kay an RN for over 40 years. She has always encouraged her children to reach for their dreams. Anne intends to continue toward her RN while working at Sanford Clinic. She pursued her nursing degree as a second career. Continued education and personal growth has always been encouraged by family and friends, and this was no different. Her family and friends, especially her children and her DON Molly, have been her greatest cheerleaders throughout helping wherever they could. <laughs> and next we have Michelle Moore. Michelle is being pinned today by her mother, Karen. She has had an amazing support team throughout this journey, including her loving husband, Rob, children, Logan, Camden, and Brooklyn, sister, Amy, and mom, Karen. Her mom has been through every journey in her life thus far and thought it would be an honor to have her mother pin her and be a part of this milestone as well. Thank you all of my family for being there for me this year and helping me get to this point. I could not have done this without you. Our last group for pinning will be our Devil's Lake Mobility Cohort. So first we have Colin Almond. He is being pinned by his husband, Casey. Colin says, thank you for being there with me through the mental and emotional breakdowns and the unexpectedly high test, stores, test scores. Thanking, thank you for taking care of the house and dogs while I was away from home with clinicals and work, which seemed like most of the time. Thank you for the encouragement to get it done when I almost didn't sign up because I thought it would be too much work. And lastly, thank you for always being there, asking how things are and being encouraging. P.S. Thank you, Amber, for pushing me to be a better, to be better and to study longer. You're the best. <laughs> Next, we have Wendy Anderson. Wendy Anderson is being pinned by her beloved Mike Trost. I can't thank you enough for your encouragement and support, and for always believing in me. Thank you so much. Up 
Up next is Abigail Guckmiller. She's being pinned by her parents, Bobby and Chris, and her aunt, Peggy. Abigail says, thank you, mom and dad, for supporting me throughout nursing school and putting up with me on all my stressful days. Peggy, thank you for all the different learning experiences at work and all the weekends of cornhill, cornhole with family at your house. You believed in me when I did not believe in myself. And up next, we have Amber Haggerty. Amber will be penned by her mentor and friend, Elmira Bruckheimer. Buckheimer. Buckheimer. There's an extra R in here. She has taught me, guided me, encouraged me so much on my journey, and even managed to make me laugh in the process. Right, so next we will have a student speech with S Michelle and Samara. <laughs> okay. Welcome family, friends, faculty, staff, and graduates. Take a look around. Wow, we made it. <laughs> Do you remember your first day on campus? I remember wondering, what did I sign up for? Was I gonna be able to make it to the end? Sleepless nights, foregoing family functions, hours of clinicals, homework, and papers. But we got to the end, and for that, we should be so proud of all the things we went through to get to this point. Now that we are here, I can't believe how fast the time has gone. We have, such, we have had such an amazing journey along the way, from learning about Ann time, <laughs> and meeting Chuck, <laughs> and all the wonderful patients and instructors we've met. We believe we speak for all the Mayville Mobility students when we say that we could not have gotten to this point without the help of a very special instructor, Tracy Bina. She was there for us when programs were crashing, when we needed to remediate and send texts at midnight. She was there to meet us around the clock for proctored exams and even when we needed to vent. She always met us with a smile on her face, listened to us, and talked to us through tough times. For that, we want to send a special thank you to you, Tracy. As we look to our future, let us not forget that we have helped, of all those that have helped us along the way. Faculty and staff, you have not only helped us learn the content and skills, but also encouraged us to never give up. You shared your confidence in us and adjusted your personal time to fit around our busy schedules. And to you, our hats are off. Classmates, that's you guys, <laughs> where would we be without each other? To have one another to bounce frustrations off us, off of, toss around study habits, and offer ideas to. Having one another to uplift each other has been instrumental in our ability to put one foot in front of the other. And finally, to our friends and family, we thank you for keeping meals on the table, laundry from piling up, and putting up with us when our moods were less than ideal. We thank you for putting up with the chaos and crazy emotions and neglect that we have shown you and our homes. It has been trying to say the least. Thank you for never giving up on us and always believing in us. Without your support, this would never have happened. There are a few of us over here that have taken advantage of the apprenticeship offered by Samford. We would like to thank Samford for this amazing opportunity and to better ourselves without the stress of impending debt. Some of us would never have taken this step without you, this, without this opportunity. 
So thank you, Samford. Fellow graduates, we made it. This year has been crazy and not easy. Tears were shed, laughs were had, and friends were made. We all got to the end, and now we can celebrate that we are all nurses. We are the future of healthcare. Now go out there and be the best nurses that you can be, and let us never forget where we came from and always be looking to better the future. We will leave you with this quote. Graduation is not the end, it is the beginning. Senator Orrin Hatch. This last uh, little thing I'm gonna end with is for Tracy and Addison. So not everybody will get this, but go blow your boogers and dry your eyes and let's go celebrate our great accomplishment. <laughs> now enjoy the slideshow. Uh, it was made by McKenna Tollerud and Madison Svedberg.
Thank you for that nice slideshow, McKenna and Madison. It's always nice to kind of see the pictures and know what you're doing throughout the year, so thank you for helping with that. Uh, we are now going to do the nursing pledge, and I would invite all nurses in the auditorium, on stage, faculty who are nurses to please stand. On the back of your program is the nursing pledge so that we can um, honor these students coming into our profession. Okay. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I shall abstain from whatever is destructive and mischievous and shall not take or knowingly administer any harmful drugs. I shall do all of my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. I shall be loyal to my work and devoted towards the welfare of those committed to my care. Okay, you can be seated. Thank you. Okay, Madison is going to do the closing for us. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, faculty, and honored guests. Today marks the embark of a new journey in our lives as we transfer from students to nurses. We have all worked tirelessly to get to this point, and I am honored to stand here before you today as we celebrate this incredible achievement as we receive our nurses' pins. The last 11 months have been some of the best and worst times of our lives but the one thing we all have in common is our perseverance. I remember before I started school, people would tell me nursing school was hard, but I always told myself it couldn't have been that bad. Now that I have finished, I will say, nobody will understand what we go through until they go through it themselves. To my classmates, never let go of that perseverance. As we know, healthcare can be so unpredictable, and when you are feeling like it is your time to give up, keep pushing because I know you can do it. I urge each one of you to take a moment to reflect on your why. Why did you join nursing school? Why did you push yourself when you felt like the homework was never ending and you just wanted to be done? When difficult times arise, think back to your whys. We have met our goal that at times felt unattainable. We have made it this far, meaning there is no stopping us now. From here, we will take our training and run with it, constantly growing in an ever-changing career and doing it with the utmost care and passion. To those who are here and those who couldn't make it, thank you. We cannot express enough gratitude for the support we have received over the last 11 months. And to my fellow classmates, congr congratulations on this life-changing accomplishment. Now, if you guys would like to join us, we're going to have some refreshments and cookies over at the Bergstrom Center. Yes, thank you. Thank you.